Hey there, everyone. SoCal playing Mario 3 is set. I don't really know what to expect. No money, no coin. Let's see what happens. Here we're gonna get kill or bricks. It's like it's like the ancestor of the swim. Honestly, if you really think about it, like their real name is like Pile Driver Goomba or something. I forgot there was one there. Because there's like a tiny little like micro-sized Goomba underneath the brick, kind of making it bounce. And there we go, video game. Like there's just one on every column, really. Like they're not very creative. I did it. I solved the puzzle. Here we got that guy. We got a fire snake. He's having fun. He's jumping around. He has a long trail of fire. In a history of wet stone, because he likes to sharpen blades, I guess. This is nothing else that could mean. Is there a problem here? Yes, an enemy. I have to make sure it despawns completely. Yeah, that's no good, so. That should be good, I think. Ah, now if he comes back, what a jerk. Alright, jump over me. There we go. You're gonna have to play the despawn games a few times. <laughs> the more the game goes forward, the more the enemies kinda hang out. Let's go at the beach oasis. Indeed, check it out. It's a Goomba, and there's some money just floating there for infinity. I will just take the drink, it's going to be a lot more easy. Because see, this is level where it's actually like a secret challenge? Dang it! The fact that you swim down there is important. Like in Mario 3, fishes don't go in, like, in rows. They actually do bob up and down a little bit. But yeah, like, there's a... This is one of those levels where if you get all... Oof, if you get all the money in the level, you get a special prize, but we're not doing anything like that by the nature of the set run. We want to avoid bonuses as much as possible, unless getting a bonus makes us avoid other things. It's a complicated process. See, there's a P-switch somewhere, you turn all of these into money. It's very exciting when it happens. It's like you've never seen anything like that before. I mean, at the time this game's release, Maybe, honestly. Here we go, a dead! We survived the water! It's so clean, even though it's surrounded with dirt and dust and molecules and after effect effects, special effects. We're dead! Flip that level over! Well, I mean, look, this is a forest, but if I also one-shot this thing, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing. So this is the forest where you bring, uh, uh, tail over and you sequence jump on those skeletons in order to farm for lives early on in the game. It is my special trick for me to do. First instance in Mario Thwops and of boos. And the boos are pretty fast in Mario 3. They do not hit around. And also, they'll actually try to hit you, <laughs> unlike smooth boos. Alright, there we go, you can do that. You see there's boo there and say, Whoa, you run and a bunch of thwomps crash. It's like I'm playing Mario Maker here. Oh, I didn't bring a power up. I should have brought my fireball to do a clean fireball kill of Boom Boom. But I guess it's not happening. It's fine. You know, this is the earlier life of Mario the Monk before he fully embraced acidism. They still had a violent streak there, so basically... Whoa, you wasted no time in doing that big hop. Wow, Smebex Boom Boom is a lot more peaceful. This guy just goes at it. So yeah, we saw a score, but there's no way around it, you know? We're stuck in a box forever, in a land without dreams. We're gonna do all three. Where we need to get blocked by... We, uh, yeah. We, there we won't have choice but to do the thing because there's a part where you need to one, bop a turtle and two, break like a whole bunch of bricks and get money and whatnot. You do not have the choice of becoming a rich man, which is, you know, a strange problem to have, but shoot. Ugh, I knew he was gonna, I knew he was gonna come alive, but I, 
I did it anyways. Well, I should get down there, though, and get that prize, you know? I still can get power-ups. They don't give me any points, because you can't get points on the map. That would be ridiculous. You know, like, I mean, sometimes... We saw it yesterday. Sometimes it only takes a mushroom in order to be able to render an impossible situation possible. Although, I wish I could get a leaf one of these days. I mean, I got a P-Wing, but I get the feeling that there might be a place where I want the infinite flight, but, I mean, look, we'll, we'll take this as it comes. Alright, let's try this again this time. The tumbling tuna this time. A taste of fear this time. We walk down the sandy path and we are all exasperated indeed. Alright, yeah, see here, I don't have a choice. I am now in normal person mode. Is there always two turtles here? I'm holding L, well, R actually right now, so that every one of these points and Like, I just don't see how you... I guess you can try and minimize the count by just getting down here as fast as you can. Then you're here, you did it. It's the old Dumble Mushroom way. So yeah, so you cannot have a clean setting run Mario 3 because of events like this. Unless there's like a hyper glitch I don't know about. I mean, which could be possible. Like, my knowledge of this game is not infinite. Ah, right, it's this guy. Oh, hi. They call him Mr. Angry Sun. But first there's a tornado no one ever mentions. Just makes you fly off. And then the Angry Sun is here as I check it out. I'm relative to the screen and not relative to reality, which makes it really hard to deal with me visually. Whoa, I'm a scary son. I'm so mad. Uh, I don't have a choice but to put on... Yeah. Shoot! I didn't keep it hold! I didn't keep it hold! <laughs> oh no! Alright, well I can do the dance with you, I think. It's fine. Like, I don't think I have to kill you. If it takes multiple runs, I'll, uh... Yeah, see? So, okay. So, I think that the trigger works as long as a little score encounter is on the screen. And that, see? Well, that got me a chance to demo the power of the tornado, which just kind of nabs you. And then it pushes you back, and it's annoying, and doesn't really do all that much. But yeah, so, I think it's as long as the score indicator is there, I get hurt, or killed, killed, rather. And so, you know, the, 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 the score counter there, like, lingered for kind of a while. And that's why I died post-victory there. So, you know, it's a... I'm learning about the intricacies of this thing here. Holding it down. Holding it down. Now I can let it go. <laughs> that was real sad. Alright, hey, I got the pick of the crop. See, I don't know if I should... I, I, I'm... I do not have to play both those levels. I may choose. If one of the level feels like something that would be too hard, or... Uh, if not outright impossible, I give myself the ability to make decisions. Uh, what that? I did not intend that to be a full jump. <laughs> I just wanted to go on a little ledge. Why you gotta do this? All right. So here we go again. Eh, eh, so I just. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A lot easier to do than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that little tur- Oh, wait, that's right! I'm not allowed to get money! I- Video game. So I want to jump from up here and like- Uh, like that? Hey, it's this guy. Yeah! That would've been a normal hit, I think. It's not score base, that's just me touching his poisonous helmet. Poison helmet? Yeah, it sounds pretty goofy, doesn't it? Alright. Uh. There we go. Did it. Ah, did it. Look at this garden. There's all the plants here. Plant life, max life. I don't know what that means exactly. That little catchy saying, but I said it. So, it must be true. There's a plant that lives there. 
Uh-oh. Here we got killer money here, just in rows. We don't even know why, it's just being dangerous. Okay. There is no way for him not to be on the screen. So I have to do this. It is something I had no control over. Also, we got ourselves a firework display. It's pretty scary if you're afraid of hard lights. Well, I want to fight that guy, so let's go spend some time with Five. Yeah. If anything, World 2 is demonstrating how... Completely unlikely this thing is. Ugh. Like, Nintendo, you know, they were like, Well, of course you want to kill enemies. It's... that's fun. Nothing's more fun than the murder of funny little cartoon animals. They're all very cute. And not very aggressive. By the way, this is the level that introduces dogs? By the way, this is not impossible. If he tugs, I think... Is it 255 times? I hope not, because if so, I will run out of time. But if he tugs enough at his chain, something magical is going to happen. We just have to wait for it, and I need to be ready. I just don't know if I have enough time. Like, it is, it's a bit of a ludicrous little secret. But it's possible, so I feel like it's something I need to adhere to. Here we go. We're just kind of waiting. That dog is just kind of angry. Angry dog with a mouth. How's it going? Well, because, yeah, like, he's just right there, underneath the spinning barrel. And here I am, completely afraid. One day the world goes by, there are no stars in the sky. That's really unfortunate. Everything is just complete darkness. Your only friend, the moon. Yeah, this is actually happening. I might, might, if I was smart, we might remove all this, because this is really silly. But... If I don't have enough time... Oh, let's see, his, his chain is like all shiny? See, see, see that? Yeah, he says, because... Ah! So there you go. If you wait long enough, he breaks through his chain, but his attack was so sudden, I could not react. Oh, man. All right. Uh, uh, well, 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 that was... that was just sad. That was just bad performance. Okay. Oh! He just went over my head! <laughs> All right. You just need to be on the right spot, I guess. Oh, that was silly. I love it. So I won't have choice but to commit atrocities against one of these, it looks like. Whoops, that's the wrong button. That's the button you want. There's no other reason to have stars, like, other than just cheese for these guys. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, maybe if you walk into me... I need to hold a button! Ah! I thought... Yeah, no, wait, yeah, I thought that these were... Well, maybe something else got destroyed I didn't notice? That wasn't a hundred... I think maybe it was the... Hammer that got destroyed and killed me. If so, that's pretty funny. So I'm gonna go in this mode, I'm gonna put a save, because I want to reuse it, because, strictly speaking, I feel like... I want, uh, it's best to destroy the bricks with my tail than constantly, like, bopping on guys. Like, that is minimizing our score, basically, as much as possible. I need to press a button. <laughs> right. Yeah, because, uh, there's a thing. You get points by destroying blocks, and you cannot skip this level. This level has to be beaten. And yeah, there's these, just, these walls here. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna keep... Why are you not letting me... Can 
Can you not? Yeah, you, I thought you could do that. Like, that's a basic Mario action right there. I don't know why it didn't want to do, but hey. Alright, press button. There we go. Eh, I did it. Alright, ducked and covered. I think we're just gonna do the entirety of World 2 today. It's kind of funny that we split World 1 into 2, but... I thought that, overall, World 2, in terms of this specific challenge, was not nearly as difficult. Like, in terms of what you need to do to modify your actions and whatnot. Right, am I gonna be safe? Hell yeah, we will. Touch with the backside of my back, which means touch it with my spine. It's not what that means, but it's okay. Help, says the castle. All right, ladybug, you got a crown on your butt. That's pretty funny. Oh no, Toe says it's terrible, but I think it's pretty funny. Gotta find a magic wand, magic wand. We could use the magic wand from World 1, but nope. King Luigi's being a jerk and holding on to it. I feel, uh, well, I got two hits by virtue of having a tail here. Of course I die instantly if, if points happen. And I feel like, yeah, like the threat of just having a bullet pop underneath me is mighty scary. Like that. Like that can happen, and, uh, and I'm down to nothing. So this is a feature of this game is the boat runs away! Whoa! So now I have nothing. See how this is gonna go. Like, future levels. Like, there's gonna be a point where just surviving the levels is not gonna be, like, guaranteed. And things are gonna get real interesting then. So I guess I wanna stay down here, rather? I guess. Alright, okay. There's a bit of a learning experience here. That's gonna happen. We got crates. If you ever wonder why Smebex had crates as a semi-solid platform, well, this is why! This is the cargo bay of the airship. It has to be some... Look at that! It's our front rock your wrench. Again, I need to not kill them, which is what makes this difficult. And also, like, they aim their wrench is real weird. Like, up to a height and then go straight. Here we go! It's boss time! It's Morn! Morn is always the second boss. He did not yet have the ability to scale walls, but he does hop really strongly, you know? Very powerful action. Whoops. Well, you heard the wand break, so I guess... I guess we're done. I guess this is it. There's no more event. We can't turn the boss back. I accidentally broke it, went, went smash, and the flipperoos in the air, all over space and time. What does a ladybug look like? It looks like that guy. Like an old man. Like, he doesn't look like he'd be the king of the desert. He looks like he's from, like, old England or something. Maybe old England used to be a desert until they grew buildings on it, though. I don't know can stomp on your enemies using Kuribu Shoe! That is complete gibberish if you're a five-year-old in the 1990s! And we got a sweet cloud! See, 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 now we got a cloud. So if you don't know, the cloud gives you the ability to skip one level. This might be relevant, because like, if I had access to a cloud, I could just have skipped either 2, 3, or the pyramid. I could've, but, you know, you don't get a clown until now, sadly. 